Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samwander Squad? This is the PTS, and we are doing a first look video on the new god, Charon. Charon's coin, you might have heard of him. He's the Styx Ferryman. He is a guardian. He is awesome, and he looks even awesomer. Check this out. Charon. Look at that, dude. Let's honestly... Let's buy the... The recolor. Oh, that looks even cooler, man. Let's go. Sorry, I was typing to uh, Petrified. He wanted to know what he should play. And I said, anything you want, preferably nothing S tier. Because this guy is a guardian after all. Um, And some people are saying he's actually a pure guardian. Meaning more like Atlas. He's not doing a whole bunch of damage. And he's there to support your team. And make sure you got your boys in the hood covered. Now, here's something insane. Um, he has a passive. Well, actually, I'll just read it to you all when we get in the game. I know I always talk a lot right in the beginning of these videos. So for now, I'm just going to say, please like the video. It would help me out a lot. And liking the video really puts it into the algorithm. As well as watching the full video. Even if you don't want to, I would really appreciate it. Obviously, average view duration helps in the algorithm. And now we're loading in the game. So I get to tell you guys about Charon. So basically, I'm going to get one of each of his abilities. Yes, his abilities are like textbooks. But don't worry. I'm here to dumb everything down to an actual human level. Um. So obviously, he rows around. He's a ferryman. It's what he does. His passive. Whenever you kill something or anything dies around you, it drops a little orb. You pick up the little orb, and you can have a maximum of 20 of those little orbs all at once. When you go back to the base, kind of like Persephone's flowers, instead of giving you gold, it gives you two maximum health. And you can have a total maximum health of, two, or of 350. So whenever you get 20 stacks, it's ideal to go back around that time. His first ability, it's a big line. Doesn't look like it does all that much, but when it hits a god... It explodes and um, sends out a silencing area of explosion, which is really big. That's a big deal. An AoE silence is huge. I don't think any god in the game has that. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, as an army, right? Um, now, I know I just used a lot of abilities. Just just hear me out. Uh, so, yeah, that will that gets sent out. It, it does damage to minions. It goes through them. But when it stops at the first enemy got hit, silences in a little radius, and then also leaves a dot damage that that god will track around. You see the little coin? So look. Whenever he moves, you see that little thing falling around? Anything that steps in that will, will get tick damage. Minions, gods, doesn't matter. And it's just gonna it's just gonna hurt him. Okay, I guess... Yeah, there you go. You can see the minions taking tick damage there. Um, now, that two that I'm dropping... That's that's the first ability. The two that I'm dropping... You see that little skull thing that goes over his head? Um, hold on. I kill him here? Wait, I don't kill him here? Oh, God. Minions are clapping my cheeks. The, the skull that goes over head, his head is my two... What that two does is basically uh, it gives him me an HP shield whenever I hit him. As you can see there. Wait, hold on. Big ult. And it kills. Let's go. So you're going to use your two on them. I know it's it's everywhere, but hold on. Just, just hear me out. Hear me out. The two, it's going to do initial damage. It's going to slow their attack speed by 30%, give you an initial HP shield whenever you hit them. And then initially, or additionally, sorry, every time you hit him after that, you gain a portion, 25% of your original shield, for a maximum value of 15% of your maximum HP. Um, now, on top of that, you can see down here, I've gained 20 maximum health because I had 10 stacks of my passive. So just keep keep that in track. Make sure you're remembering. His one is going to be his main clear ability, by the way. At least from my knowledge. Could be wrong. Hoping I'm not, but could be. 
Um, now, his three is a lot simpler. It is a root, but on top of that, it is a uh, dash. I mean, basically, think about Hecarim or Chiron dash, something like that. Um, and that's all it's going to do. It's going to root them for a second, do some damage, dash through them, and it will displace them, I believe. You can see that, that shield slowly uh, gaining on me whenever I... I'm hitting him with an ability or an auto attack for that matter. You saw that root there. Get some autos off. Now, here's the pistol of resistance. I don't know how to say that. Here's the best thing about his kit. It is his ultimate. And dude, trust me, one of the most fun ultimates in the entire game. I don't know what makes it so fun, but it's genuinely like exhilarating to use. I missed my one because I'm stupid. Uh, but his so hold on, I should probably max my two because that's going to give me more of an initial shield. And then I should go honestly. Let's just go damage. Um, so his ultimate huge charge up takes about two seconds to charge up um but once you launch that off your cc immune while charging it by the way um but once it launches out it goes the entire duration of the map the whole map no matter what map you're playing on conquest assault duel joust every single map it goes the entire duration and um it does damage and it gives Anyone that you hit with it, obviously it does damage to them, but your teammates that you hit with it. So again, it's not like that great in duel because it's team oriented, but the teammates you hit with it gain protections and movement speed. And the enemies you hit with it are also feared for a very small portion. I don't know why I just tried to dash through that. So yeah, that's basically his kit. His combo, in my opinion, is going to be to land the two so that you get more survivability so you're going to always initiate with the two because that means everything else that you hit him with after your two is going to be giving you hp and be giving you some shield you do not scare me by the way that dash is super long you just saw there um so his combo like i said it's going to be to two him and then, in my opinion, 3-1 combo. Because the 3 is going to root him to make your 1 easier to hit. And then, your 1 is going to leave that trail behind while he's trying to get out after you've bursted him. That's also going to damage anyone that he tries to run towards, you know? So, and that's basically it. And you can already see my passive. I've gotten 50 health from it. I know it just it, we're 8 minutes into the video and I just finished explaining his kit. It's a lot. I mean, all of these new gods are like textbooks, so... You're gonna have to hear me out a little bit. You do not scare me. You still do not scare me. Oh, that hit him. Oh, he died. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Oh, my God. That alt actually chunks. That alt did 237. It's pretty good, damn. It's pretty good damage. All right. Grab the red buff here. I need to go into some sort of like mana sustain. I know I have Chronos Pendant, but let's just go into Rod here. So I have some more mana sustain. And he is a traditional guardian. His scaling is pretty decent. I mean, it's uh, like 50% on some abilities. Like I said, uh, tra he's traditional guardian in the sense where he's not going to be doing that much damage. He's going to be mainly there because his two, if you hit someone, every person that hits that character gains a shield based off of your maximum HP. So, you know, pretty good there. His one is going to make people not want to be next to each other in team fights. 
His three is going to displace them and root them and make sure that they're not all huddled around each other forever and ever and ever and ever. Look at my shield. Look at my shield. Look at my shield. You can't run. You can't run. It's too big. Rooted. Root. Oh my god, dude. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'm busted. I only have one stack. By the way, worth mentioning. I think I said that you get a stack whenever anything dies around you. It's only when allied things die, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, when a friendly lane minion or jungle monster dies. So you're not just going to stack up super, 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 super quick. Like I maybe made it seem. Hello? Look at that burst, dude. Look at that burst. And then I'm just so tanky because him trying to... Him trying to burst me. And also, by the way, that silence is just nuts. The silence is just like... Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know why. I keep thinking my first ability is my second ability. Like, I'll use my two and then immediately dash after to, like, two them again for some reason. I don't know why. I got big bozo materials right now. This gun is so sick, dude. Honestly? Like, I know he's a guardian and I'm not a huge guardian player. But... He's pretty sick. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of loving him. And his alt is so big, man. It takes up the whole damn lane. Little root. Oh my gosh. You can't run from him, dude. You can't run from him. And by the way, his alt is a fear. I don't know if I said that. I'm pretty sure I did say you get fear from his alt. But in the off chance I didn't say it, it's a fear. Let's go, dude. Honestly, his three does a lot more damage than I thought it would. This three is his highest damaging ability. Well, I don't know. Maybe if you count the trail damage from the one, it's not. But I'm kind of feeling like maybe you just max the three. But the one is so good for poke. Hello. Dude, look at my, look at my HP shield. It doesn't matter if you hit me because I just heal it all back instantly. This is dummy. Oh. What did my two hit him for? I don't know, 500 something? I don't know. This god is so much fun to play though. Holy crap. I am very, very thoroughly enjoying him. <laughs> and he's so smooth too. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't imagine a character like this big of rowing on a boat with all these channeled abilities to be like a smooth character to play, but he is. Also worth noting, I have 110 HP for my passive right now without even trying to stack it. Only 11 minutes into a game in a duel. Like, you're getting a lot of HP very quickly if you're playing Conquest or something, you know? Okay. You caught my two. Or my three. Kind of not cool, bro. Kind of not cool again. He got silenced. I'm coming. Let's go, dude. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dealing so much damage. His clear is pretty bad because you don't get the extra trail damage on his one. But I think if you max his three, it might be worth it. Like, it might be okay to clearing. Also, my base attack speed is pretty good. 1.22 by default right now. Look at that damage. Look at that. Look at that tick damage. Give me those coins, please. Don't do it. Look at my HP. Look at my shield. Look at my shield that I get just because I'm Chiron or Charon. Oh, okay. You're better than me. Unfortunate. I live in a world full of lies and deceit. Don't do it. All right. You're better than me. Unfortunate. Uh, what's my cooldown at? 30%. Go Genji's. He's going Genji's. I'll do it anyways. And you know what? F it. Let's go 500 pot right now. Dude, I'm actually loving it. <laughs> I hate guardians. Like, uh, kind of with a passion, actually. I really dislike guardians. Because they're never fun to play. Like, there's some gods where you lock in and you're like, uh, it's a good god, but I really don't want to play it. And that's how I feel about most guardians. But with this guy, I'm kind of down, dude. I'm kind of down. Oh, by the way, a soul stack grants you one gold too. So every time a minion dies, every time I pick up one of those little coins, um, I'm getting one gold as well. Dude, that silence has got to be... He's got to be so mad. <laughs> oh god, I'm dead. Never mind, he missed. You're dead. Never mind, I missed. All right. Let's go. I'm so far ahead right now. Building him HP would actually be really, really good. I feel like you would be really unkillable. Because you just get... um, You just get a percentage of your max HP with this. Plus 140 HP shield base... Plus 3% of your max health. So you just like gain so much HP <laughs> of a, from, from a shield. You just build him max HP. You clap cheeks. God, the ult is so cool though. Hello. Literally just stopped his dash on me. Oh no, I'm bad. Oh. <laughs> oh, he caught me, shit. Look at that. That was so hard for him to to do anything to and to like clear or do do like literally anything to because i'm just silencing him and then i'm getting shield off of him like what's the actual game plan give me those coins please hello big damage Okay, you cannot cancel. I knew he was going to dash that, so I just hit the Titan. Oh, 
What is the game plan here? You can't do anything. I'm invincible. Give me those coins. All right. Let's see you kill me. Let's see you do something. All right. Yeah. What happens? Uh, what happens then? When I just gain all of my HP back. <laughs> oh, hello. Like what? Like what does he do, man? What does he do? He's dead. Oh my god! What the hell? I just did. I fought him like seven or eight different times, just over and 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 over. And he's dipping into fountain every time we fight, and he still doesn't win that. Holy! Rap. Look at my damage compared to his. His damage doesn't even fully count because of the fact that I shielded myself so much. I did 20,000 more damage than him. 3,100 more gold. 1,000 gold per minute. Incredible. I don't know. You guys got to check out Karon. He's coming out on Live Client, I believe on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. So if you don't have the PTS, then you got to wait until then. But if you, I do download the PTS and play this God, I promise you, you will have so much fun with him. Let's check out the windscreen. Obviously he's taking us through, taking us through the river of sticks. Denton loving him as always. That's my boy. He just looks so casual and chill, man. I love it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, y'all. Peace.